This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by AEJuice.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DoPmotions.com, and in today's After Effects tutorial, we will create a cool motion graphics scene inside of After Effects without using any plugin. Now, a quick disclaimer here that for this tutorial, you will specifically need After Effects 2020 or higher because we will be using a new After Effects feature called Taper inside this tutorial. So if you have an older version, you may not get this feature. So if you don't have After Effects 2020, then this tutorial won't be for you. And uh, you know, you can just skip this video and watch another video on my channel. Anyways, so with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be full HD. That is 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Hit OK. Now let's hit Ctrl Y on the keyboard to create a new solid called this PG for background. I'm going to hit OK. Go into Effects and Preset. Type in a Fill and let's add some nice color to our background. So I'm going to go with uh, something like a nice bluish purple color, bit uh, saturated look that I would go for. Right. Then I'm going to select the pen tool. I'm going to make sure that my fill is set to none and the stroke is set to around uh, 70 pixels should be good. Let's turn on the title action safe and let's create a straight line from the center just like that. Now, in order to align this, you can just simply use the align tool, which is going to properly align this into the uh, center. I can just move this just to be a bit more precise. And I think I'm going to increase the size of this. That is the path of this a bit more, something like this looks good. Then let's uh, delete the fill. We don't need it. Go into stroke and change the line cap from butt cap to round cap. So we have this nice rounded edges. Then go into the taper option and let's increase the start length all the way up to 100. Then go and click on the small icon that you see right here and let's add a trim part to animate our line. So I'm going to set the end property to zero and let's set the start property to um, somewhere around let's go 75 and then we can animate the offset and it's going to give us that nice stroke animation. So in order to animate this, I'm going to create a new keyframe on the offset at zero frames. Then let's go to around, um, let's say four seconds and let's add maybe a rotation of two and let's see the speed. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit too slow. So let's set this to three. All right, that is looking good. Now what I'm going to do is I want this animation to keep on looping. So I'm going to add a simple loop out expression. So to do that, I'm going to hold alt and click on the stopwatch of the offset. Let's type in loop out, open and close parentheses. Make sure O is capital. And now it's going to keep on looping like that. Now I'm going to select the shape. And now you can see the anchor point is into the center. So we need to bring that anchor point into the bottom of this line so we can duplicate this and rotate it along the anchor point. So to do that, I'm going to select the pan behind tool and turn on the snapping right over here and just snap this anchor point right here. Now we can just simply select the shape, hit control D to duplicate it, hit R and rotate it into whichever direction that I want. So something like this, something like this looks good. I can also turn off the title, oh, title action safe. Let's select this, hit Ctrl D, hit R and rotate this. Something like that. Let's rotate this one. And rotate this one. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. You can see we get a really interesting animation, but I want to make it look a bit more complex and random. So to do that, let's hit control A, close them up. I'll go to around 10 frames, select all the shapes that we have, hit alt and uh, close square bracket to crop them up. 
then select these shapes go into animation and i'll go into keyframe assistant and sequence layers hit ok and boom there we go now i'm going to move my time indicator right here and if i preview this you can see we get this really nice random shape animation it looks pretty cool so now let's go ahead and color them up so i'm going to select the shape let's go ahead and add a fill and for this one i'll go with a nice pink color hit ctrl c ctrl v and for this one we can go with a nice yellow for this one i'll go with a nice blue and um for this one i'll go with a nice green color and lastly for this one let's go with a nice purplish color now i can see it looks pretty colorful now what i'm going to do is let's pre-comp all these shapes so select them all hit ctrl shift c to pre-compose them call this shapes underscore o1 hit ok turn on the collapse transformation go into the project panel and right here i'm going to duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate them let's drag and drop them right here also turn on the collapse transformation i can hit r and rotate them and uh, you know basically create a really interesting uh, animation so now it looks a bit more complex as you can see pretty cool but what i'm gonna do is select them open them actually select those shape layers and let's bring down the stroke size to 20 so i'm gonna keep them very minimal so we have a really nice look as you can see we will rotate them in a different direction looks pretty good and i'm going to duplicate them one more time so i'm going to select the shapes again the shape one hit ctrl d put that at the bottom and this time i'm going to rotate this so just like that and then let's add a fill on this one i'm going to select the fill color from the background and give it a lighter tone a lighter version of the background so we have added a bit more um you know complexity now i'm going to select all these layers hold alt and open square bracket to crop them up let's go let's drag them at the start and boom there we have this very nice and interesting look now before we proceed further with this tutorial let me tell you about today's sponsor ae juice they have an amazing i want it all bundle which contains over 5000 animated elements like transitions presets titles for your project it comes with a handy pack manager plugin and this is one of those investment that will last you for a lifetime plus they also have a starter pack which has over 100 animations that you can try it out for free for more information check out the link in the description below now let's go ahead and add in our text as well so i'm going to select the text tool let's type in a text whatever text that you want i'm going to type in gaming so for the font i'll go with an integral extra bold i think that i think that looks um pretty good and for the color i'll i'll set this to white let's add a nice background to this so i'm gonna select the rectangle tool and create a shape just like that we don't need the stroke we just need the um fill let's add a fill color and i'm gonna add a lighter version of the background just like that put this below our text and there we have this really nice look and then i'm going to use transform to add a little bit of skew to this so double click to apply that up and skew this by minus six degrees hit ctrl c and paste it on the shape as well so we have this really nice look and um, then i'm gonna call this box let's add a drop shadow to this so i'm gonna add a drop shadow in order to separate this from the uh, background so this is looking pretty nice maybe something around 250 looks good as you can see we have this very interesting look now i can select these two layers hit ctrl d to duplicate them put them just right here and pull them just like so let's type in a second text that is wipes i'm going to bring down the size to around maybe something like 85 or something put this right here and also scale down this shape so i'm gonna hit u two times to reveal the size properties and let's bring down the size like so i can also align this 
into the center just like that and let's place it into the position that i want so there we have our text ready to roll now we can quickly go ahead and animate our text you can you know use it just like the way it is or you can animate the text so i'm gonna go to two seconds let's animate the position and the opacity of both the text i'm gonna hit p create a keyframe on the position hit p create a keyframe on the opacity go to around um, 15 frames set the opacity down to zero hit p and bring that down just a little bit then i'm going to hit u so we can see all the keyframes here select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then i'm going to select this and drag the handle to the left like so so we have this nice animation as you can see now let's go ahead and animate our box as well so let's go to one second select the boxes hit s create a keyframe on the scale unlink them go right here and let's um, animate this set this to zero set this to zero select both the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph again and let's pull them down or pull them to the left so now we have this very nice text animation i can add a little bit of displacement or delay of five frames to the second text so we have something like this looks pretty nice and there we have our gaming wise motion graphics scene ready to roll so that is a wrap for today i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to create some really nice and simple motion graphics gaming wide motion graphics inside of after effects that too without using any plugins if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment down below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and if you wish to support this channel you can support us on patreon the link to everything is in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out